Hello everyone, good evening. Welcome back to the kitchen table. Um, tonight on the kitchen table I'm going to be talking about um, smooth flying for smooth video. And I'm specifically going to be talking about the tricky um, Your Channel. But before we go any further, um, tonight's beverage of choice, which is looking slightly vicious here, is a homemade from 2010, so a four-year-old red currant vodka. Uh, I didn't distill it myself, that would be highly illegal, but I used some very cheap vodka and flavoured it with red currants from the garden, so um, cheers. Well, that's very good. <clears throat> right, <clears throat> so, yes, smooth flying. Um, I've had questions about um, how people can do very smooth uh, shots where they're uh, you know, turning the aircraft or where they're just generally bringing the aircraft to a, to a gentle stop and uh, how they can just make their, their video as silky as, as possible um, without having to do too much in, in post-production. So the first thing I want to talk about is gains. Um, for every aircraft that has a NASA based controller in it, so the Phantom 2, the Vision Plus, the Vision um, and any standalone NASA F450 and so on and so forth you are able to, using the uh, assistant software you can change what's called the gains don't change the basic gains, they affect how the aircraft reacts to automatic um, changes as a result of the environment have a look at the attitude gains, those affect how the aircraft reacts to you doing stuff with the controls. The lower the percentage number in the attitude gains, the more kind of relaxed and spongy the feel of the aircraft is in response to the sticks. So you get a more kind of mushy feel, which can obviously make for much smoother flying because any kind of small jerky movements you make here will be kind of mushed out. The flip side is the higher the percentage on the attitude gains, the more crisp and fast reacting. So you will kind of get this twitchy kind of stuff. So generally for filming, you might want to experiment with lowering your attitude gains. Make a note of what they currently are. Drop them down by 20% or so. See what happens. If it's not much difference, drop another 20% and so on and so forth and have a look. Um, and you might find that you can just sort of get a more spongy feel which will mean that your stick movements are kind of a little more absorbed and, and that, can, that can definitely lead to a smoother finish. However, the problem is, and you'll notice this if you look at the, um, the attitude gains, there isn't one that you can adjust for your and as anybody who's got something a phantom will know, generally speaking, the yaw is pretty snappy. And I think a lot of people, that causes a problem. So, what can you do to have smooth, gentle, subtle yawing control for a slightly smoother video? So, there are three things you can do. The first one of them is practice which yeah, I know people are going to sort of roll their eyes, but, you know, practice, practice, practice. The other thing is to change, perhaps you can, in doing that, you can change your, your, the way that you control the sticks. Some people are thumbs on, and they're doing this. Personally, I find that quite difficult to, to kind of maintain a small movement. Um, if you wear a neck strap, you might find it's easier to do it with two fingers, a finger and a thumb. You could even, you know, use the side if you want to hold things side. So have an experiment with that, but, but you know, a lot of it is just down to practice. Um, practice basically just putting in as small an input as you can and holding it steady, especially if you want to get a very smooth kind of yawing panning shot. The other method that I've seen some people do is to um, make a physical barrier. Now I've seen some using very um, sort of quite sturdy elastic or rubber bands. Put two down the whole length of the controller here. 
and actually sort of physically restrict with an elastic band. So there's a little bit of something you can press against, but you can hold it more easily in one place. The other thing I've seen is people using popsicle sticks, lollipop sticks, to kind of make a little framework that holds the, uh, you know, limits the travel on the stick. Uh, I've seen some people with 3D printers who 3D printed something that they can put on the top. The only downsides with those is, of course, you've got to be able to do the CSC to start the motors. Um, so, you know, you need to have a design that, if it's a rigid one, flips up or can be lifted off easily to, to allow you to do that. That's the other option. Um, <clears throat> a slightly more advanced one is to ditch this altogether um, and basically put a third-party third transmitter-receiver combination in your Phantom. Um, if you've got a more advanced transmitter, you can use something called Expo. What that basically means is that you can you can tune the um, the digital transmitter to say, right, okay, um, anything up to half throw um, is really. Uh, I want you to read that as me just going one, three degrees or something. And then if you want that fast yaw because you need to, then you have to put a full throw in. So exponentially, I guess, uh, is what it is. I might be wrong, I don't know. Uh, you kind of nothing, 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 and then go. So you can see how that kind of me to dial that in. But that does involve a third-party transmitter and involves taking out the stock receiver and putting in an appropriate one that it can talk to and modifying things there. I know other people have put resistors in the circuit inside here. That's That's all well above my pay grade. Go and research if you want to do that. Um, you know, uh, I'm I'm down at the kind of just practicing. Um, and I also find that, to be honest, a straight yawing shot. If you just do a, you know, a slight bit of yaw, I can, I, you know, you can hold, you can with practice, you can hold a nice smooth one. And uh, like I said, the easiest thing to do is perhaps try a side of the, the side of the um, thumb, or finger and thumb grip to hold it steady. Um, where it becomes very tricky is if you're actively looking to climb or descend and you're at the same time, then it's kind of... If you're starting to do advanced manoeuvres like that, you maybe want to start to look to one of the other options. So there we go. That's just some ideas of how you can smooth out your control response to get a smoother video result. Um, Certainly, I would recommend that anyone have a look at just have a have a change some of your attitude gains and just see what it feels like. You might actually find that the default settings out the box are great. In which case, as long as you've written them down, you can easily go back to them. Um, you might find that actually you 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 want to just calm things down a bit. Have a look. Um, any questions as ever? Pop them below. Um, and if there's any other topics that you'd like me to cover that either I haven't before or it was so long ago uh, you would like me to do a refresher, then by all means, again, in the comments, let me know. But for now, thank you very much for watching, and I'm about to go and um, remove a few more throat lining cells with this um, red current vodka. So, cheers.